For many years, cooking your food with gas was the only choice for you and your family. But with the course of time, the induction cooktop is becoming the preferred choice for several households, including top chefs, to prepare gourmet dishes around the world. When it comes to cooking, you may find comfort in using a gas stove. After all, these have been around for years and have been easily accessible too. But the induction cooktop is gaining more popularity. Although it has been around for a long time, it is currently making its way into kitchens everywhere. In case you're about to move into a new home, one of the most important decisions to make is whether to cook using induction cooktops or gas stoves. However, both ways of cooking can be pitted against each other on the basis of advantages and disadvantages. Before you sit there scratching your head at which cooktop you should be cooking your next delicious Alfredo pasta on, you should know some fact about both of these. So without waiting anymore, let's check out the facts for you to compare. First of all, in 1851, a gas stove was demonstrated in London. However, it took about 30 years to be commercialized in England. Afterwards, they became widespread in the United States and European continents in the early 20th century. Today, they are traditionally used by most households around the world. Conversely, the first induction stove was manufactured at the beginning of 1970 in the United States of America. Afterwards, it was put on a public display in Texas in 1971. Your gas cooktops don't waste heat that enters your stovetop. Also, its surface gets hot swiftly, though it cools down after a while. But it takes a bit longer than your induction to cook food. On the other hand, one of the best features of induction cooking is the fact that it cooks your food fast with a balanced level of heat. As there is no transfer of heat to the surroundings, the burner and entire surface of the induction cooktop remains cool to your touch. When it comes to the speed factor, your traditional gas cooktop will generally cook your comfort food like rice and chicken stew slower than an induction cooktop to prevent burning it from beneath. Whereas, your induction cooktop will cook your spaghetti, meatballs and more relatively faster by providing the exact amount of heat that you can control with ease. In addition, one of the biggest advantages of using a gas cooktop is that it's mostly compatible with all your existing pots and pans made of stainless steel, metal, ceramic, and so on. Alternatively, the most obvious disadvantage of using induction cooking is it only works with cooking vessels that are made of magnetic materials. These types of cookware are more expensive compared to regular cookware, so you will have to spend extra money. Besides, the downfall to gas cooktops is the danger that the gas poses. As with anything that involves gas, it poses a potential safety risk such as a leak. Therefore, you should be extremely cautious, especially if you have kids around. On the contrary, induction cooktops are safer because they don't usually get hot. The little hands and furry paws of your kids and pets won't be in danger. Plus, your elderly family members with weaker hands can use it safely as well so you can rest assured that your induction is completely safe. Generally, gas cooktops are cheaper to purchase than induction varieties because they are less complicated to cook with for you. However, induction cookers are cheaper to run than gas partly because they use electricity and they heat your food efficiently. Overall, we can conclude that both of these cooktops help you cook your food efficiently. But when you have to choose between these two, focus on your priorities, affordability and safety concerns. However, for your personal home cooking, an induction will work wonders. And for a larger space like a restaurant, a gas cooktop will be a wiser pick. So the choice is up to you depending on the level of convenience you seek. 
That being said, we are now at the end of the video. Hope you loved it and subscribe if you did. In the comment section, let us know if you find this video to be helpful. Stay tuned if you want more videos like this.